Hello children. So we shall revise what we have studied in the last class. We studied definitions of substrate, attacking, reagent, fission of covalent bond, two types of fission, homolytic fission and heterolytic fission. Homolytic fission is symmetrical breaking of the covalent bond takes place in which a single electron movement takes place. Here the free radicals are formed. So heterolytic fission, it is unsymmetrical breaking of the covalent bond which results in the formation of ions. We studied the reactive intermediates, carbocation, carbanion, free radicals. These are the intermediates which are unstable and hence highly reactive. Carbon with a positive charge having 6 electrons in the valence shell is carbocation and carbon with a negative charge having 8 electrons in the valence shell is carbonyl. Free radical, it is an intermediate which has got unpaired electron or we can say odd electron. So it has got 7 electrons in the valence shell. We studied the stability of these reactive intermediates. Types of attacking reagent, electrophile and nucleophile. So electrophiles are electron deficient species. So positive charge species and some neutral molecules called as BB sassings which are deficient in the electrons, they are electrophiles. So neutral molecules like aluminium chloride, ferric chloride, these are neutral molecules with having electron deficient. Nucleophile, so nucleophile, they are electron rich species, so negative charge species, negative charge species or the molecules in which the atom has lone pair of electrons like water on oxygen two lone pair of electrons, ammonia on nitrogen one lone pair of electrons, so they are nucleophiles. Today we shall study electron displacement in organic reactions, electronic effects. So organic reactions only electrons move other way. At the single electron movement agir bodo, at a pair of electrons, and the air electrons movement agir bodo. Single electron movement elna, at a fish hook air wali now represent one. So, homolytic fission nali nan hedi rodo, alva chlorine molecule in presence of UV radiation or heat, it undergoes homolytic fission to form chlorine free radicals. So, our way fish hook air one na use model. Alayanagate single electron movement takes place. So this is single electron movement representation. The arrow mark used for the single electron movement. So fish hook arrow on the head the way half headed arrow. This is complete arrow. So this represents what? Movement of pair of electrons. Two electrons movement. So now, these are the three different representation of movement of electrons or we can say electron displacement. Niv idar na sari aadi artha maadi kondre, understand maadi kondre, e mooru representation, niv ge mechanism part easy aadi understand aadi. So electron L in the L move agathe, plus charge L hap beku, minus charge L hap beku. Idhanna sari agi ni understand maad kolli. Ega first representation ali nodi, A matte B matte dali double bond idhu. Alva, ivaga E arrow maad kanna nodi, complete arrow maad. E muru representation ali complete arrow maad kanna represent maad. And the two electrons movement. See here, so these Pi electrons are moved here. So pi electrons moved from one bond to the adjacent bond. Ide ni do? Eli mu agi the pi electrons from one bond it has moved to a adjacent bond. Aavagar A matte B matte the lena ito single bond. 
ಅಲ್ವಾ ಫೈ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಮೂವ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಬಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ಸಿ ಮಧ್ಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾಯ್ತು ಡಬಲ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಇವಾಗ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಮಾಡೋಣ ಎ ಇಟ್ ಹಸ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ಯಾರ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಅವಾಗ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಏನಾಗಬೇಕು ಎ ಮೇಲೆ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಬರಬೇಕು ಒಂದು ಪ್ಯಾರ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಲೂಸ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಎ ಆಟಮ್ ಇದೆ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಸೊ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಈಗ ಸಿ ಏನಾಗಿದೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗೇಂಡ್ ಅ ಪ್ಯಾರ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಏನು ಮೈನಸ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ರಿಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಶಿಫ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಶಿಫ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಪೈ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಪೈ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ಒನ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ಒನ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಟು ಎಡ್ಜಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಟು ಎಡ್ಜಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಈಗ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ರಿಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೇಷನ್ ನೋಡೋಣ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಕೂಡ ಪೈ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಮೂವ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆದ್ರೆ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಮೂವ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ರಿಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೇಷನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಎಡ್ಜಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಗೆ ಮೂವ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಮೂವ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಎಡ್ಜಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಆಟಮ್ ಗೆ ಮೂವ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಬಿ ಮೇಲ್ಗಡೆ ತೋರಿಸಿದ್ರು ಅಲ್ವಾ ಹೆಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆರೋಮಾನ್ ಬಿ ಮೇಲ್ಗಡೆ ಇದೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಬಿ ಗೆ ಇದು ಬಿ ಆಟಮ್ ಗೆ ಈ ಪೈ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫರ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಸೊ ಇವಾಗ ಏನಾಯ್ತು ಎ ಮತ್ತೆ ಬಿ ಮಧ್ಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಆಯ್ತಾ ಮತ್ತೆ ಬಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ಸಿ ಮಧ್ಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಕೂಡ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಈಗ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ನೋಡೋಣ ಎ ಇಟ್ ಹಸ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ಯಾರ್ ಆಫ್ ಪೈ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಏನಾಗಿರ್ತದೆ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಬಿ ಇಟ್ ಹಸ್ ಗೇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ಯಾರ್ ಆಫ್ ಪೈ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಮೈನಸ್ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ರೈಟ್ ಈಗ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ನೇನಾಗಿದೆ ಶಿಫ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಶಿಫ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಪೈ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಪೈ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ಪೈ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ಪೈ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಟು ಎಡ್ಜಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಆಟಮ್ ಟು ಎಡ್ಜಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಆಟಮ್ ಈಗ ಥರ್ಡ್ ರಿಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೇಷನ್ ನೋಡೋಣ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡಿ ಡಾಟ್ಸ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಮೇಲಿಂದ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾರು ಮಾಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಡಾಟ್ಸ್ ಏನು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಟು ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಲೋನ್ ಪವರ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಅದರ್ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಾನ್ ಬಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೇವೆ ಅನ್ಶರ್ಡ್ ಪ್ಯಾರ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಕೂಡ ಹೇಳ್ತೇವೆ ಸೊ ಇವಾಗ ಬಿ ಗೆ ಬಿ ಮೇಲೆ ಲೋನ್ ಪವರ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ಅದೇನಾಗಿದೆ ಅದು ಮೂವ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಲೋನ್ ಪವರ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ಬಿ ಆಟಮ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಮೂವ್ ಟು ದ ಎಡ್ಜಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಸೊ ಇವಾಗ ಎ ಮತ್ತೆ ಬಿ ಮಧ್ಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಈಗ ಬಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ಸಿ ಮಧ್ಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾಯ್ತು ಡಬಲ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಆಯ್ತು ಈಗ ಬಿ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಲಾಸ್ ದ ಲೋನ್ ಪ್ಯಾರ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಸೊ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಏನಾಯ್ತು ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಆಯ್ತು ಸಿ ಗೇನ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗೇನ್ ದ ಪವರ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಸೊ ಮೈನಸ್ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ರಿಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಶಿಫ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಲೋನ್ ಪವರ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಶಿಫ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೋನ್ ಪವರ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ಒನ್ ಆಟಮ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಒನ್ ಆಟಮ್ ಟು ಎಡ್ಜಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಈಗ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಇಫೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಕಲಿಯೋಣ ಸೊ ಯಾಕೆ ಈ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಮೂವ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏನ್ ಕಾರಣ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಸೊ ದರ್ ಆರ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ದ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಮೂವ್ ಈಗಾರ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ದ different atom or it may be substituent group attached to the carbon chain
the electron movement takes place. If the attacking reagent is not there, the electron movement or electron displacement does not take place. Only in the presence of this attacking reagent, the movement of the electron takes place. So, effect again our temporary effect than the health effect. Temporary effect. So, electrons, organic reactions, so electronegativity difference is dada. Atava attacking reagent is dada. Avaga electrons movement are different electronic effects, inductive effect. So, other layer types is there plus psi effect, minus psi effect, electronic effect, plus C effect, minus C effect, resonance or mesomeric effect, plus R or plus M effect, minus R or minus M effect and hyperconjugative effect. So now we shall study one by one. First I will start with inductive effect. Inductive effect. This inductive effect will arise in organic molecules when an atom or a substituent group of different electronegativity is attached to the carbon chain. So here I have taken an example CH3Br Carbon and Bromine So I will write it in this way Carbon is covalently bonded to Bromine atom So Bromine, Carbon and Bromine the electronegativities are different Bromine is more electronegative atom Bromine is more electronegative atom where carbon is less electronegative atom. So when there is difference in the electronegativities between the atoms in the organic molecule then there is minor displacement of minor displacement of sigma electrons towards more electronegative atom towards more electronegative atom so now so this is sigma electrons so these sigma electrons slightly move towards the bromine atom since bromine is more electronegative. Slight displacement, not more, slightly it displaces. So due to this electron displacement, this more electronegative atom, it develops a partial negative charge. Now here bromine is more electronegative. So this develops partial negative charge delta minus. Not minus. Delta minus will present. Partial. So delta represents what? Small change. Isn't it? Mathematically this delta represents small amount of change. Whereas the less electronegative atom it develops partial positive charge. So inductive effect and theodigra. Organic molecules only different atom or different substituent group carbon chain attach adaga. So e sigma electrons slightly more electronegative atom kade shift adhaga. So e electrons slightly shift adhaga. So more electronegative atom ige partial negative charge develop adhaga. But the less electronegative atom again, partial positive charge develop again. So, this is a permanent effect. It is molecularly. So, this 
so definition for inductive effect is it is permanent effect it is permanent effect caused by caused by how it is caused minor displacement caused by minor displacement of sigma electrons sigma electrons towards which atom towards more electronegative atom towards more electro negative atom so inductive effect it is a permanent effect caused by minor displacement of sigma electrons towards the more electronegative atom now we shall study the magnitude of this inductive effect so i'll consider a carbon chain having three carbon atoms which is attached to cl atom so this is carbon 1 this is carbon 2 this is carbon 3 all these three carbon atoms will not experience the same inductive effect the three carbon atoms same amount of inductive effect experience agata nodi ee carbon atom 1 idu chlorine ge directly attach agide so the inductive effect illi ee carbon atom mele jaasti agirutade adhe last carbon atom third carbon atom inductive effect en agirutade kadme agirutade yakandre ee carbon atom ee chlorine atom kinta dure ide distance hecha agide so distance hecha agre carbon atom a electronegative atom ki the distance hecha agre inductive effect en aagutade inductive effect decrease aagutade thus chlorine is more electronegative the c1 carbon atom it develops partial positive charge now this c2 carbon atom it will develop still lesser partial charge means delta delta plus the partial charge is less on this second carbon atom compared to the first carbon atom and this third carbon atom still more it is less delta 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 plus so delta plus is greater than delta delta plus and delta 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 plus so as the distance of the carbon atom along the carbon chain increases the inductive effect decreases so now we shall study types of inductive effect so positive inductive effect negative inductive effect positive inductive effect is represented by plus psi effect negative inductive effect by minus psi effect now you consider this hydrogen molecule there is no difference in the electronegativities the electronegativities of both these atoms they are same isn't it so this is shared pair of electrons or we say bonded pair of electrons it is exactly at the center of these two hydrogen atoms there is no displacement of this bonded pair of electrons the covalent bond is between the same atoms non polar molecule so here it is not like that way there is difference in electronegativities between the carbon and bromine different atom when different atom is attached to the carbon atom electronegativity differs so when there is difference in the electronegativity there will be displacement slight displacement of the bonded pair of electrons or we say shared pair of electrons negative inductive effect see if the electron displacement if the electron displacement takes place towards the substituent group x is the substituent group that is attached to the carbon atom then this is negative effect minus psi effect so what should be the nature of this 
substituent group? It should be electron withdrawing group. Electron withdrawing group. So you can say electron withdrawing group shows minus sign effect. Electron withdrawing group attached to carbon chain shows minus sign that is negative inductive effect. So the electron displacement is electron displacement <coughs> towards the substituent group. Towards substituent group. So here carbon will have slightly that is partially positive charge whereas electron withdrawing group it will have partial negative charge. Now I write the order decreasing order of minus sign effect. So NO2 it is a strong withdrawing group nitro. So decreasing order I am writing maximum is for nitro group then CN CN group it decreases compared to NO2 fluorine COOH chlorine bromine I'll continue here iodine OCH3 methoxy OH hydroxy and C6H5 phenyl least is for phenyl negative effect is least for phenyl group maximum for nitro group now next positive inductive effect positive inductive effect plus sign effect plus sign effect so now it is reverse case so electron displacement takes towards the carbon atom or we can say we can say in this way Electron displacement is away from the substituent group. See this arrow mark towards the substituent group. Electron displacement. Now this arrow mark indicates what? Electron displacement away from the substituent group. So what should be the nature of this substituent group? Why? What should be the nature of this? Why? It should be electron releasing group. Electron releasing or we say electron donating. So if electron donating or electron releasing group is attached to the carbon chain then it shows plus sign effect. Electron donating group shows plus sign effect. So now what will be the charge on this carbon atom? Now electron is displaced towards this carbon atom. So it will develop a partial negative charge. Earlier case here it is delta plus. In this case it is delta minus. Whereas this Y substituent that is electron releasing group it will develop partial positive charge. So decreasing order of decreasing order of plus sign effect. So more the alkyl groups attached to the carbon atom more is the plus sign effect. 
so cr c ch3 thrice to the carbon atom three methyl groups are attached more alkyl group is attached so this group it has got maximum plus psi effect ch ch3 twice then ch3 ch2 methyl group plus is for methyl group there so to this carbon atom three methyl groups are attached c ch3 trice so this alkyl groups they release the electrons to this carbon atom so ivaga electron withdrawing group carbon atom ge attach aadaga avaga electron displacement yav kade aagutade substituent group kade aagutade adakke namu minus i effect anta helthe adhe carbon atom ge electron donating group athwa electron releasing group attach aadaga plus i effect ali plus i effect present aagutade इलेक्ट्रोमेरिक इफेक्ट इफेक्ट अंत सो अल कन्डर एंड अनसाचुरेटेड कंपौंड अनसाचुरेटेड कंपौंड डबल अल अनसाचुरेटेड कंपौंड सो इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ अटैकिंग एजेंट it attacking reagent so h plus is attacking reagent hydrogen ion proton so what happens here so in presence of this attacking agent in the presence of this attacking reagent complete transfer of pi electrons of the multiple bond takes place towards one of the atom complete transfer earlier case only minor displacement it ivaga illeno complete transfer of pi electrons of the multiple bond multiple anthe idre double bond irabodu triple bond irabodu carbon carbon atom madhe towards the one of the atom in the presence of attacking reagent this is electromagnetic effect it is temporary effect attacking reagent idre ashte ile enagutte ee pi electrons transfer agutte attacking reagent illa ant helidre ee pi electrons transfer agalla adakke na idu temporary effect anta helthare so definition it is temporary effect in the effect is no permanent effect temporary effect in which there is complete transfer of complete transfer of shared pair of pi electrons shared pair of pi electrons towards one of the atom towards one of the atom involved in the multiple bond okay ee carbon atom ki move aagi this carbon atom is involved in the multiple bond towards one of the atom involved in multiple bond only in the presence of only in presence of attacking reagent only in the presence of attacking reagent 
So, it will be two types in a positive electromeric effect and the negative electromeric effect. Positive electromeric effect plus C effect. So, we shall consider this example unsaturated compound in the presence of H plus. So, H plus is an attacking reagent. Attacking reagent. So, it is electrophile and the head of the alma. It is electrophile. So, in presence of this attacking reagent, then I will tell you complete transfer of pi electrons takes place. I will show towards this carbon atom. So, if I will tell you the pi electrons it has moved towards this carbon atom. So this carbon atom it has gained a pair of pi electrons. It develops negative charge. Whereas this carbon atom it has lost a pair of electrons. So it will develop positive charge. Now see the sign on this attacking reagent. It is positive. So where, will it, where it will attack? Which carbon atom it will attack? So, since this is positive, it will attack the carbon atom which has developed a negative charge. Means, it will attack this carbon atom. Right? So, now here, carbon, carbon. So, between carbon and carbon, single bond. Carbon and carbon, only single bond is present now. Because pi electrons is transferred. Now, new bond is formed between this carbon and this hydrogen. So, CH. This is the bond formation. Now, on this carbon atom, you should show positive charge. Right? So, in this effect, the pi electrons is transferred to the atom to which the attacking reagent is attached. Now, the E carbon atom again, I give them pi electrons transfer. I give them L1. Now, the E direction, now the arrow mark, now the E carbon atom again, pi electrons transfer. I give them. And the E carbon atom again, I give them the attacking reagent attached. So, it do plus E effect on the head of it. So, in this effect, in this effect, The pi electrons, the pi electrons of the multiple bond of the multiple bond is transferred, is transferred to the atom, to the atom to which Attacking reagent, attacking reagent is attached, is attached. And then you have a negative electromagnetic effect, Ali. negative electromagnetic effect minus E effect. Same unsaturated compound. Now attacking reagent I consider negative charge. That is nucleophile. So CN minus cyanide ion. This is attacking reagent. Nucleophile it is. Now what will happen here? So then towards this carbon atom I will show the transfer of pi electrons. Right? So, this carbon atom will be, this carbon atom will have negative charge, whereas this carbon atom will have positive charge. Ready? It can negative charge when it is there. E carbon atom again I get there, positive charge when it is there, E carbon atom. When this carbon atom develops this positive charge, this Cn minus will attack the carbon atom that has developed the negative charge. And there is a bond formation of the 
ये कार्बन आइटम है कार्बन सी सी एन बॉन्ड इज फॉर्म किया सो ये इफेक्ट अल एन आई है द पाइ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ऑफ द मल्टीपल बॉन्ड इज ट्रांसफर टू दैट आइटम टू विच द अटैकिंग रिएजेंट इज नॉट अटैच इलेक्ट्रॉन्स 
ಆದರೆ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರೋಮ್ಯಾಗಿಕ್ ಇಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ವಾಲ್ವ್ ಆಕ್ಯುಪೈ ನ್ಯೂ ಆರ್ಬಿಟಲ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಒರಿಜಿನಲ್ ಆರ್ಬಿಟಲ್ಸ್ ಮುಂಚಿನ ಆರ್ಬಿಟಲ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಅದು ಹೊಸ ಆರ್ಬಿಟಲ್ಸ್ ಗೆ ಆ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಮೂವ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಇಂಡಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಇಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಮಾಲಿಕ್ಯೂಲ್ ಸೊ ಇಂಡಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಇಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಬರೀತೇವಲ್ವಾ ಡೆಲ್ಟಾ ಮೈನಸ್ ಡೆಲ್ಟಾ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಅದು ಪಾರ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಚಾರ್ಜಸ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಚಾರ್ಜಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ಪಾರ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಚಾರ್ಜಸ್ ಅದೇ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರೋಮ್ಯಾಟಿಕ್ ಇಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಸ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಸಪ್ರೇಷನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಮಾಲಿಕ್ಯೂಲ್ ಅದೇ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರೋಮ್ಯಾಟಿಕ್ ಇಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಮೈನಸ್ ಸೈನ್ ಬರೀತೇವೆ ಇಂಡಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಇಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಡೆಲ್ಟಾ ನಾವು ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೇವೆ ಡೆಲ್ಟಾ ರಿಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಇಂಡಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರೋಮ್ಯಾಟಿಕ್ ಇಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಇವತ್ತಿನ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಏನ್ ಕಲ್ತಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ರಿವೈಸ್ ಮಾಡೋಣ ಸೊ ಮೇನ್ಲಿ ಎರಡು ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನಿಕ್ ಇಫೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಕಲ್ತಿರೋದು ಇಂಡಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರೋಮ್ಯಾಟಿಕ್ ಇಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ದ ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ the different ways of presentation of electron movement so in organic reactions the electron displays when a different atom or substituent group is attached to the carbon chain or it could be in presence of attacking reagent so we study two electronic effects inductive effect and electromagnetic effect inductive effect it is a permanent effect which is caused by minor displacement of sigma electrons towards the more electronegative atom hence partial polarity is developed between the carbon atom and the substituent group then two types of inductive effect minus i effect and plus i effect if the electron are displaced towards the substituent group that is minus i effect the nature of this substituent group it is electron withdrawing group it pulls the electron from the carbon chain if the electron is displaced away from the substituent group see this arrow mark away this is towards if the electrons which electrons it is sigma electrons if it is if the electrons are displaced away from the substituent group then it is plus i effect so what should be the nature of the substituent group it should be electron donating group electromagnetic effect it is a temporary effect which involves the complete transfer of the pi electrons to one of the atom which is involved in the multiple bond in the presence of attacking agent so here plus e effect and minus e effect here these are the two effects if the attacking reagent gets attached to the carbon atom to which the pi electrons has transferred then it is positive electromagnetic effect if the attacking reagent is not attached to the carbon atom to which the pi electrons has been transferred to that carbon atom see here the pi electron is transferred to this carbon atom but the attacking reagent is not attached to this carbon atom it is attached to the another carbon atom to which the pi electrons is not transferred now here the inductive effect it decreases as the distance increases from this substituent group 